You've got a cupboard of brews that you don't know what to do What to mix with what, what to put in where There's no need to fret because there's someone here to help you He's not just a man, he's an idiot too The cocktail idiot, yes it's the cocktail idiot It's cocktail time with your host, me, Jonty, the cocktail idiot, and the camera lady. Georgie. Yes, perfection. We nailed it. <laughs> and wow, we're good. Okay, so today we're going to be doing the world famous Sex on the Beach. Woo! Yes, cue theme song. Wanna have sex on the beach. And stop theme song because of copyright reasons. Oh, God. We're going to go straight in with the cocktail, and then we're going to do history time. You are going to need some Vodi Vodka. You're going to need some Archers. You're going to need, this is optional, Chambon. And then your juices are orange and cranberry juice. I've forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> what was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just, make, let's, just make, let's just make the drink. Okay, so we're going to make it in two parts. You can do it in different ways. Some people put it all in the shaker and mix it all up. Other people layer it. And we're going to layer it because it looks pretty. And pretty is what you aim for. So you're going to take your body vodka and you're going to put it in your right hand because I'm right handed. And you're going to use your jigger. I'm waffling today, aren't I? You're going to use your jigger and you're going to put in a shot and a half. So it's 37.5, Georgie's favourite measurement. Very annoying measurement, <laughs> but for all of those at home you could put less in or more in, I'm sure. Exactly. Then you're going to take your peach naps, then you're going to put in 15ml of peach naps. Obviously I've gone for the well-branded Archer's because it's sweet and disgusting. <laughs> but I'm sure nowadays you can get all sorts of nice peach snaps. We should experiment. Experiment? Experiment. That sounds like a really weird term. Experiment. <laughs> what? Experiment. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Then you're going to take your orange juice and you're going to put in about 50 to 60 ml of that. So a double shot. And a bit more for good luck. A lot more for good a luck. A lot more for good luck. <laughs> right, then we're going to mix that up. That's going to be our first layer. Put that in. And go for the chuck. Hey! That was terrible. <laughs> okay, first, smile and check. Okay, you're then going to take your hurricane glass, oh this isn't too dusty, <laughs> haven't used that in a while. Right, put some ice in that, and then you're going to just strain that into there. Try not to splash excessively like I've just done. Okay, that is layer number one. Now you need to do layer number two. Let's put that to one side. So layer number two is just cranberry, so you could pour it straight in, but we are going to use a bit of shambon as well. I've been doing a bit of research and this crops up quite often, so I thought I'd give it a go. Let's see if I can open it. There you go. So you're just going to put in 15 mil of Chambon, just to give it that extra little zest, <laughs> zesty zest. And then you're going to put in 50 mil of cranberry. Are you going to put a dash more in, like the orange? You know, why not? Okay. Because that's the crazy world we live in. 
Okay, then you're going to shake that. Try to do it behind the back. Oh, hey. That was better. And then, smile and a shake, number two. So, let's get one more bit of ice. And then just chuck it on top. Mm. I like my sound effects that goes along with pouring. What? Pouring sound effects? Yeah. What are they? Mm. You know, it's like, it's like the sounds mm. of a monkey. <laughs> and there we have said drink. All it needs now is said stirrer because people are going to want to stir it up. I do love the colours. Is that the right way around? Oh dear. Yes, that's the right These way These just aren't long enough, are they? A bit of a straw? Yeah. And then the classic garnish look, which is obviously a bit of orange and a bit of cherry. Boom! Yay. Oh dear. Oh, this has all gone terribly wrong. There you go. Perfection in a glass. There we have one sex on the beach. to my week, the peak of my week, as soon as I finish, I build up again <laughs> to the next history time. Man, that's, whoa, a load of rubbish that was. <laughs> so, the sex on the beach. The most told story of the sex on the beach is that it was created in 1987. Obviously it had to be a 1987 cocktail with a name like that. And the story goes it was created by a Ted. George is going to say the name. Pozzini. No, Pussy. No. We just discussed this. Oh, well, I'm very sorry. Pizio. Yes. I think that's, I think that's how we're <laughs> going to pronounce it. Ted Pizio. And he apparently created it when he was working in Florida at Confetti's Bar. He was obviously a bartender there. And they were doing a promotional competition type thing to sell as many peach snaps bottles or just as, sell as much as you can. To make people addicted to peach Exactly, nuts. in the local area. And uh, the story goes that he uh, took part in this competition and he created this cocktail to, uh, to sell. And the name, apparently he decided that the reason people come to Florida <laughs> oh, <no>. is all, <laughs> all the people on spring break who come for either sex and time on the beach, or oh. sex on the beach. I, I wish I didn't know that. I didn't think that's where it was from. Well, where do you think it was from? Well, it's just a funny name. Well, sex. All <laughs> <laughs> the beach. Sex or the beach. That's, that, that's how it should be. Don't do sex on the beach. Terrible idea. Anyway, let's move on. Because, although that's a very nice story, the problem is, um, as there always is a problem, you can find the recipe for a sex on the beach in a cocktail book which came out in 1982. So five glorious years before Ted made it, which is a bit oh, of a problem. Um, and the cocktail book is American Bartender's School Book. So he might have looked at it, seen it, and then come up with it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the name is in the book. So my theory is, if the name's not in the book, he saw the recipe and then added the name. Um, but it's most likely that Sex on the Beach is a concoction of two cocktails and one is the Fuzzy Navel and that is peach snaps and orange juice and then put that together with a Cape Codder which is a vodka and cranberry. Are they really is... cocktails if they're just two ingredients? Well that's more of like a mixer isn't it? Yeah. But, but okay, that has a know, name nonetheless. Yeah, when you name it, like a screwdriver. Vodka uh, and orange juice. Yeah. It's sort of a cocktail, sort of a 
spirit okay, and mixer. Okay, we'll move on. Um, and either way, TGIs, TGI Fridays, uh, like the drink a lot, and it started to become even more popular when they added it to their to their menus in their restaurants around America, and hence the globe. <laughs> and that is the end of history time. And the end of history time means it's the end of the video, which means you can click off if you haven't clicked off already, which I highly suspect you have, and go and do something more productive like make sex on the beach. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to do all those wonderful things that you have to do, which is like, take a picture of your sex subscribe, on the beach. take a picture of you, <laughs> make sure you phrase that right, Georgie. <laughs> The drink. Take a picture of your drink <laughs> and put it on Instagram. And put it on Instagram. Uh, notify. Do the bells and the whistles. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Chin chin. <laughs>